Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. If you're truly Lord of the Mad. Hi, Lord of the Flesh, it's Harbinger. It's Piffin and Glow 22 Boxes Madman. Cute as I can do this as 13 and all around tutorial guy. Yeah, since I activated the uh, elevator last time, we now actually have to wait for it. Because it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down. Fully automated with absolutely no regard for anyone who might want to use it. That's us in this case. Yes. Uh, humanity? No. I don't think that was really necessary. Need humanity. For what? Here? Where? Why? Why would you need humanity here? Oh, so let's explore this side. It's here. Just ahead. Good. Is it amazing? No, it's pretty. Pretty much the same. More demon titanite. Which you know is kind of useful if you keep in regard the fact that uh, this area actually has the person who makes the weapons that use Demon Titanite. So actually that is something to keep an eye out for. Uh, this ledge, does it serve any other purpose? It just takes back to the staircase. Alright, so it's seen its use. See that path over there? This rooftop path. Inky. I had such trouble finding it at first. Uh, in fact, I had to use a map. Because I had no idea where this might be. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. I repeatedly tried simply jumping off the ledge that uh, had the... You know, that ledge. Thought I could sprint and maybe there would be an invisible walkway or something. You know, the leap of faith scenario. Sorry, madam. Or sir. It's all the same to me. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're all down there somewhere. I assume this way is also blocked off. Yeah. So what we have to do is go up. And I think I hear more of these painting guardians already. Oh, jolly good fun. Oh, but I haven't been back to the asylum yet, so I will not be able to go to the painted world yet. The item that is required for that uh, lies within my old cage in the asylum. So I won't be doing anything in regards of that right now. Can you just come to me? Those knives won't do a thing. Ah, oh, there we go. I was hoping for one to kill there. As is probably obvious by the fact that I used to have a attack. Though the stacker ring is still more than simply useful. Get some boy scrubs. So to be fair, I only have a ring for that. And it's not nearly all that necessary for when you only play PvE, which they thought they were doing, because they are part of the environment. So they didn't really feel the need for boys. Just get over here. Let me kill you. There we go. Now this, brace the sun. Good. Sun brazing is always welcome. We welcome it on a daily basis. Hello. Uh, would you be so kind as to follow me here? 
thank you. Uh, now let me pass. I actually want the what is over here. What is this? Is this sorcery? No, it's just a random alcove that actually serves no purpose. Cool. I love those. Okay, so uh, let's go. Uh, now, the purpose of getting onto this was simply that we could, in fact, uh, connect the bridge to there. So it would also connect over there. Where we have that little guy waiting for us. Look at how excited he is. Just wants to play. Ah, this is not as easy a battlefield as the last one was. Okay. Uh, technically, I can notch this platform even lower. There are some stuff down there that uh, maybe I should be interested in, but I'm currently too lazy to handle. That's unfair. Stop attacking me through pillars. Oh, hi. Would you like some fire? Fire! I need you to burn that gargoyle. Yeah. Alternatively, of course, I could try and get close and do the stabbery. I think he'll fly. And that was right. Ow. Don't do that. That's rude. <sighs> Alright. Uh, talking down to him is probably also rude. Just because he's a gargoyle, gar gargoyle, whichever. Doesn't give me the reason to consider myself superior. What gives me that reason is my ability to kill him eventually. I think. Would you like some more fire? I have more fire. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of leading him back to where I killed his brother. Oh shit. Stop there! Oh! Nice! Nice moves. Very nice. I suppose I simply should not have let him over there. Huh. What is this? It's probably one who said be wary of humanity. Something like that. What do you say? Be wary of hope. Oh. That sounds dangerous. I for one never trusted hope. Maybe if I tried fire orbs. Those could probably burn the gargoyle and hope. In the same toss. Or throw. Whichever. So it's the same purpose here. <sighs> I think with my other character I already had 40 endurance by the time I got here. Simply because I wanted to be able to roll uh, with my poor helmet and the light knight armor. Because that was the silliest build I could think of. I don't think you it's, it's actually wise to use the poor helmet for anything once you pass the first levels so basically if you can upgrade armor you shouldn't look at that poor helmet poor thing. seriously I used all my fire orbs and I did not get a single hit on him hmm, I wonder how if you got any all damage. Not probably not worth, worth wasting a potion over, but hmm. if I did this, that's a fair bit of damage. At this time, we got to meet my sword. 
pretty good for him, isn't it? Also fire. Gargoyle's halberd and shield. I think that is all the gargoyle equipment there is. The helmet, the halberd and the shield. I don't know if I actually want to use any of that. Uh, but they are now available to me. I'm actually not entirely sure what the ideal uh, shield would be for me. Because uh, it's a shield for one. And I kinda should be using fire. Due to needing it to burn. Alright, I think I will manage to taunt one at a time. Should have looked into this opportunity. Yeah, there we go. Oh, does this angle give me the advantage? Here? Nice. Uh, that's one down. I think I could probably sneak off to there without him noticing me. But on the other hand, I don't want to take that risk. So I'll make him notice me. Notice me, Senpai! Such senpai such noticing. Wow. Stop noticing me, Senpai. Alright. Ah, he did. Or kind of him. Whoa. Don't do that. Except I'm fine. I'm running out of fire, it's your fault, sir. Here. No? Why is this guy less open to my gift of fire? Come on. Call me thingy. Let me be your Prometheus. I'll give you fire. You use it to burn. Okay, I'm actually out of fire, so uh, never mind. Ooh, that's close. You almost shield stand. Uh, this is probably no longer enough to load up, is it? No. Plus, I might be able to make it to that next bonfire. Maybe. Probably not. Things are going to go to shit soon. And it's not going to be... Uh, ...simple to get out of that shit. <sighs> My other cha character had a very easy time with these guys, actually. Get over here. Can I...? Yep. Yeah. With this character, easy times will not be had. Because I knock him out of my range. That's kinda... That's not a good strategy. Try something else, Firemancer. There's one over there, there's one over there. No one over there then. Is there? No. Good. Uh, I need your attention, please. Makes me wish I had fireballs. Oh, you have this thing. Which won't do me any, any good. Uh, pardon me while I run away. Oh, what was that? I was trying to lock onto this guy. I kind of want to see if I can get only one of them to chase me. That doesn't seem to be the case. Ah, there we go. Only one of them is chasing me. But to help me achieve this goal, may have been a bit barbaric, a bit violent. Uh, you know, that kind of was the purpose of this entire exercise. Wasn't it? <sighs> 
Damn it, stop moving so much. You're almost dead, dude. What the fuck? Also, I keep forgetting that uh, parrying is a thing. Uh, there was a time with my night when I rediscovered parrying, and I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, I can bury them and I can repose them and I don't oh my god, they're just dead. So easily. And then I discovered again that I'm not actually very good at that. Uh, so I got cocky and I kept dying to the same enemies. This is not the way to go. Also, this place is full of silver knights. Who are pretty much like Black Knights, but they respawn. So, uh, they can trouble some. Ah, there's two of them here. I don't think I can separate them very easily. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can go back up here. Can whoop. Oh, and the dragon slayer bow. Ow. So basically, whichever way I do this, I'm not in a good place. Can I stagger that one who's on the ledge? That they reach the boss, can I? Bows have a specific range. They don't think that is still within it. For this one. I stop your dancing. Cease your attempts at entertainment. Okay, I seem to be safe from the dragon stable arrows right now. But just to show you the point. There are arches over there. There are plenty of them and they're goddamn powerful. This is just, that's not safe. That's not safe at all. Huh. Alright, give me this another try then. But I'm going to do so in the next episode. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Next time on Dark Zones. Maybe I should upgrade my bow. I think I had some titanic shots. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that.